okay? And I throw this, this quote up at you to start this off. You will become clever through your mistakes, okay? Let's go back to, uh, to the talent code, okay? This guy, Robert B Bjork, who's the chair of psychology at UCLA, he says that the more we generate impulses in countering and overcoming difficulties, the more scaffolding we build, okay? So struggle is an important aspect. Okay? Now, the objective is to find the sweet spot. We can't overwhelm our athletes, but we have to put them in an environment where they're challenged. Okay? In our, in our, uh, in our vernacular in sports, we use the word comfort zones, right? You guys have heard that word before, where you're trying, as coaches, you're always trying to push the bar. You're trying to challenge comfort zones. That's, that's what we're talking about here, is we're looking for that sweet spot that's just beyond the player's abilities. And, and if we can, we can put them in that sweet spot and, and tr train them in that environment, that's how the optimal skill ac acquisition and development will take place. Okay? So we have to, in essence, we are targeting the struggle. Okay? They use this term, deep practice. Purposely operating at the edges of one's ability. And I'll go back to the comfort zones, right? Challenging comfort zones. Why is this targeted mistake-focused practice so effective? Because it's the best way to build circuits. We'll go back to the biology, right? The, the brain fires until it wires. We fire, we attend, we make mistakes, we attend to the mistakes, and then we myelinate. And that's how the process takes place. So struggle's not an option. It's a biological requirement. If all we do is practice in a comfort area, if all we do is flow drills, and we never challenge players' abilities, and we never, we never try to put them in an environment where they're operating at the edges of their abilities, then we are not going to create an environment that's optimal for development. They will not get, they will not optimize their potential, okay?